Hey guys, so you know how we had those leftover veggies from the other day? Let me show me how I'm going to use them. Come on. All right, so here you can see we have our leftover veggies. It's just corn and potatoes. Here's my chicken. So we're gonna put some of this in here. You know what, you're not working. Just dump it. Dumping works better every time. Then I have a can of cream of chicken soup. So we're gonna add our cream of chicken. I'm gonna go in with some Italian seasoning. And again, I don't have that much over here right now. So we're just gonna kinda go with what I got. I'm gonna do Italian seasoning. Onion powder. and some garlic powder. And we're gonna add some more of our bacon. All right, so I got the lid on there. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a good shake to get everything incorporated. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of butter so I'm gonna put a little butter in the bottom of each of these. These are little T90 bacon dishes that I've got. And I just think they're super cute. So now we're going to pour our filling into our two containers. All right, so we got those. Now what we're gonna do is I have some of these jumbo biscuits from Walmart and they wouldn't all fit in my toaster oven. So I cooked four of them for breakfast and then wrapped the other four in full and I figured they would be good topping for this. Again, I haven't ever done this before, so we're, we're testing. Yeah. So I am gonna put just a little bit of butter on the tops of each of these. So then we're just gonna stick them in to our toaster oven. So basically I'm just cooking these until those biscuits are done. So I would say, I think the biscuits were supposed to cook for like 13 minutes. So I would say, oh, an excuse how dirty my toaster oven is, I need to clean it. Um, I'm gonna check on them probably in about 10 minutes and just see where my biscuits are at and see how much longer they need to go from there and I'll let y'all know. All right, we're at the 10 minute mark and you can see that they are not done. So I'm gonna probably set them for another 10 minutes. All right, so it's been another 10 minutes and we're still not looking done. So I am gonna boost my heat just a bit to just shy of 350 and I'll probably give it another five minutes or so. All right, so you can see that we're starting to get some brown on the top there. So probably just gonna be just another couple of minutes, but I am gonna pop the heat back down because if you'll notice, they're getting brown on the top, but the sides still look not done. So, and what I am gonna do is I am going to pull these out and flip them. So this one is going to here and I'm gonna turn him this away. Oops. And this one is going here and getting turned backwards as well. And that will give them a little more even rotating and we'll just give them another five minutes. This is the problem with invention cooking the first time. It's been another five minutes. And they're still not done. So you know what that means. Another five minutes. All right, so it's been another five minutes and the tops are looking done, but the underside where it meets the filling is still goo. So this is what we're gonna do. I have already turned my temperature way down. It's down to like 250. All right, so basically I've covered the tops with full and this is gonna keep the tops from getting any browner while we let that inside continue to cook. So I turn, like I said, I turned it down to 250 and I am going to leave these in here for probably another five minutes or so 
and then I will turn the oven off and just let it work on the oven cool down method. And I'll be back when they're done. All right, so these have been in there like an hour and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna take one of them out to eat right now. And then the other one we'll leave in and let it do cut oven cool down method and see if it will be better. But I'm hungry. So let me pick my biscuits up. And I'm gonna put them over here. I want them on top. Then I can just pick this up and dump him in there. I mean, my filling looks really good. I'm just kind of bummed that my top didn't cooperate. Um, and these little pans, by the way, I think I got them at Publix. But I'll have a link to them where you can get them on Amazon as well. Uh, because I definitely really like these. Because that's like perfect amount of food for two meals for me. So probably gonna regret picking those up with my hands, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so let's give this a try, finally. So, cut into one of my biscuits. And yeah, you can see that the inside is still just goo. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask my grandmother about that, cause I don't know. I feel it's pretty good. If only my biscuits would cook. I don't know. If y'all know any tips for that, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna ask my grandmother too, because I mean, that's the end all of everything. Don't know? Ask grandmother. Grandmother most likely knows. So but anyway, I'm gonna eat this. Probably just gonna eat the filling. And then I'll probably just cook the biscuits by themselves for a few more minutes and maybe eat them with the other half. But I don't know, I'll let y'all know. Bye!